Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Jeremy. And welcome, and welcome to Five, Five Foot, Foot Way. We live on the ground floor of an apartment in Juchet, further down the residential area. The unit is 1,900 square feet and we've been staying here for exactly one year. This apartment was built in the 1950s and was passed down through different generations of homeowners before us. It used to be a foreign worker dormitory, you know? It was dark and dingy with an awkward narrow corridor leading to multiple rooms. And the thing is, when you view a unit like this, the one thing you've got to keep in mind is the potential. And that certainly came to life after we gutted out everything and built it from ground up. Our home doesn't have a specific team in mind, but I have to show you the one spot that all our guests love, which is this amazing skylight. It provides this beautiful natural daylight, which instantly brightens up the spot. The house is in the usual shop house layout, so no windows on each side. Our main point was to get as much light as possible. This will give us ever-changing ambience that is dictated by Singapore's weather. We love the original red bricks from the architecture in the 1950s and we intentionally chose to keep them to form a large part of the common area. And if you run your hands through it, you'd realise that this imperfect texture provides a nice contrast to the modern materials in the rest of the home. And we added a sealant on top to protect it from the elements because you got to make sure that the charm will stand the test of time. During our renovation, several very kind neighbours told us about potential flooding issues during the monsoon period. So one way to future-proof our house was to elevate the ground floor, which does mean that our floor-to-ceiling ratio is shortened, but our house is plenty tall anyway. An uh, interesting opportunity that came up during this exercise was an opportunity to put in a 2x2 two two meter window. We didn't know whether it would work, but this also gave us another area which serves as an entertainment area for us to have drinks before heading into the dining. I think another key feature of this bar is the built-in cup rinser into this concrete slab here. Uh, it allows us to clean our glasses if you want to have multiple different drinks in one night. Obviously, being on the ground floor next to a 5 foot way will invite a lot of peering eyes in. So we installed this film, you know, like the ones on the LRTs that we can easily turn on and off. We kept the foyer simple and functional, and we knew we were expecting quite a few deliveries. So this foyer provides a good spot for bulky deliveries without access into the actual house. Plus, it's a great spot for shoe storage. Our living room is our communal space. We gather with our family and drink with our friends. We host pretty often, so you will see that each space was precisely designed for that. The first of three bedrooms is currently being used as a study where I work from home. And that's where my involvement ends. This vinyl collection, that's all Jeremy's. Where he usually would chill and listen to music in the evening. A cool part about my vinyl collection is some of them have been autographed by the artists that I've met in my line of work. It sort of brings back memory and adds on a little bit of charm wherever I play their albums again. So both me and Amanda rides motorcycles to work daily. I got this actually hand-painted specially by a South African artist when she got her first license and it was given to her as a birthday present. It's actually her together with her first motorcycle which is actually a Yamaha TW200. This 25 meter hallway, a common feature of shop houses, actually connects to every part of the house. At the foot of our bricks, we actually laid a few layers of stone to conceal drainage whenever it rains and potentially floods. And after a few months of living here, we added these bamboo blinds to keep rain out and the AC in. Our home layout also allows us to extend the skylight into the master, which means we wake up to daylight every morning. In line with the idea of ventilation throughout the home, our designer found these handmade louver strips for our rooms. We have this drawing of our two cats in us. It was a fundraising exercise by a Singaporean illustrator duo. We intentionally kept the bedroom symbol, lined the entire wall with wardrobe and used that carpentry to conceal a doorway into the master bathroom. Part of 
part of the inspiration of creating a step down shower came from the Japanese onsens you experience on holidays. We have always been a fan of darker shades, so we introduced textures through these tiles instead. Fun fact, we actually got our architect to scale down on the master bath in order to make space for an adjacent powder room. Given that we mostly host our friends in the dining area, it really made most sense for us to incorporate a powder room next door. You really get to appreciate the cross-ventilation of the entire home when both the front windows and back doors are open. This bifold door is kept open during the day, but it serves as a point of separation between the dining area and the rest of the home. This dining area is actually an important spot for us given that most of our friends and family hang out here. And we kept the original textured brick wall, but painted white to brighten it a bit. Personally, I think the white colour complements the space. We added this vintage Louis Poisson PH5 lamps with this granite dining table and some dark chairs for contrast. So we have a lot of friends that come over to drink and to hang out with us. In view of that, we added a bottle opener and an upcycled World War II jerry can that holds all of our drinking accessories. We cook and host quite a bit, hence the intentional choice to have the kitchen and dining adjacent to each other. We introduced a mini step to segregate the two areas, but honestly, just a reason to introduce kitchen-appropriate materials. And for some reason, everyone seems to hang around the kitchen island, so thankfully, we relocated the same for easy access and chamfered the edges for safety. A lot of materials were also considered for, for the backsplash because we cook and host quite often. We eventually went with stainless steel backing because we know you age gracefully together with the kitchen as we live for a longer time here. If you see photos of shop houses, you'd notice that a courtyard like this would always be open air. Because that's exactly where old amas would be, squatting and boiling soup on your charcoal stoves. It's such a privilege to be able to have a spot like this at home, complete with our Japanese pine tree, to really get the outside in vibe we wanted with our home. At the back of the house, these glass bricks introduce both light and privacy. We installed roller shutters, one on each side, forming an indoor garage of sort, allowing both motorcycles to ride in and park. We built this home with the notion that we would be hosting quite often. And I think at the end of the day, we're bound to have special moments at home. And we hope that this form core memories for our friends and family as well. Anyway, Jeremy and I are heading out for lunch now. I'll leave the roller shutters open so you can see yourself out. <laughs>